Hello St. Peter's, today we'll be teaching you how to build a computer. The parts that make up a computer are the computer case, motherboard, random access memory, or RAM for short, power supply, DVD, CD disk drive, hard disk drive, or solid state drive, and the processor. The first component we are working with is the motherboard. The motherboard is what allows all of the parts of the computer to communicate with each other. Attached to our motherboard is the processor, or CPU. The CPU is what carries out the instructions that you input into the computer. On top of the CPU is the heatsink. It is made up of heat pipes and metal fins that remove the heat from the processor. The temperature of the CPU can reach up to 90 degrees Celsius. That's close to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to install the motherboard into our computer case. It is important to properly secure the motherboard to the case. So, when the computer is being moved, the insides don't shift and break. You wouldn't want your insides to move around, right? The next part of the computer we're installing is the power supply. The power supply takes the AC current that comes from our homes and converts it to DC current. This will provide power to the components inside our computer and allow it to run. We will connect the power supply to the motherboard, which will power the components on the motherboard. Next, we're moving on to the Random Access Memory, or RAM for short. RAM is used by applications to store temporary data that can be accessed quickly for a running program. The more RAM you have, the more applications can run at the same time. We always want to be careful while using some components as they are very fragile and can easily break. Now we need to install our hard disk drive, or HDD for short. The hard drive is made up of rotating platters. Alternatively, we can install an SSD, or solid state drive, that is made up of flash storage, similar to what is in a flash drive. Next, we need to provide power to our hard drive. We do this by returning the power supply and plugging in the necessary power connectors for the hard drive. Our computer is now fully assembled, and it's time to turn it on. It is important to listen to the sounds that the computer is making to ensure that everything is working properly. Alright guys, you remember uh, we uh, looked at the different parts of the computer, and the different parts of the computer again is the power supply, Motherboard. The motherboard. CPU and CPU fan. CPU and CPU fan. RAM. RAM. Hard drive. And hard drive. Okay, so what this pink cord is going to represent is the cords inside the computer when you guys hooked up those SATA cables and stuff. So raise your arms up and we're going to go ahead and hook up the power supply. Close her really good into the wall. All right. 
all her cores connect to the motherboard. And the motherboard sends power out to all the other parts, such as the CPU and the CPU fan. And then the cores keep going around to the RAM. And then finally they end up hard drive. All right. So what happens is, is we turn on the power and when we turn on the power, she's gonna get energized. So I'm gonna go click. <laughs> so the power's flowing now. And the motherboard feels the power and the motherboard starts sending out all the electric pulses <laughs> to the different areas. And finally, it goes to the CPU and the CPU fan. And the CPU gets really hot, 90 degrees Celsius. And it has to have this fan to cool it off. Finally, it gets to the random access memory. Where random access memory is like a basket that holds all the different information. And then you end up going to the hard drive where it searches different areas for various information. And this is exactly how a computer works.